Maisie has something she'd like to share with the class. This is my new stepfather. Hi. My father married my nanny, so Court made my mommy get married too. <laughs> You know, you don't get a bonus for making her fall in love with you. You two are sitting right now, so it works. But how do they put you in the same frame when you're standing and walking around? Wide shots. She needs to sit on someone's shoulders and, like, swing her arms, and you'll walk next to her. Pretty much, yeah. There were a couple of shots where they would shoot from, like, across the street. You remember that when we, like, when we crossed the street? You know, when, when I pick you up at school, the first, the first day. Um, and when you see that, it's, I thought it looked pretty cool, actually, when I saw, <laughs> when I saw that. Because uh, it's like a super wide shot of us crossing the street. And I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit taller than you. Just a little bit. Like this much. This yeah. much. I hear he was one of your favorite people on set. Can you tell me what you like about him so much? Oh, he's fun to climb on, and he's fun. How about all those toys you got? Were those fun, too? Did you get to take anything home? Yes, you did. Something that, that was alive. The turtle. That's really cool. Did you name him? Tallulah. Tallulah, good name. Except I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. <laughs> well, we could just pretend it's a girl. <laughs> And how is it for you working with such a young little actress here? Because your material is not particularly kid-friendly usually. So is there any kind of section of your brain you had to turn off to keep yourself in check? Not at all. I was just extremely, extremely excited about the, the project and, and, and uh, the character. Lincoln is someone, a character I, I felt that it was new. It was something I, I, I hadn't played before. and. Um, I thought it was just a beautiful relationship between a guy who is kind of lost in the beginning of the film, who doesn't really take care of himself, who's not very ambitious, he doesn't really, he's a talented musician, but he doesn't really do anything with that talent. Um, and then he's kind of forced, in, you know, because he marries Julianne Moore's character, uh, who, who's a rock star, and she's, you know, she's busy fighting her ex-husband or b being going on the road with her band. So he's kind of, he ends up with this little kid that he doesn't know. Um, and I just, it's just a beautiful relationship and how he kind of falls in love with this girl and how he doesn't understand how her parents can't be there for her uh, more than they are. How about your process as an actor? Is there anything that she likes to do that you kind of had to adjust to? It was so amazing. I mean, to work with Julianne Moore and Steve Coogan, two phenomenal actors, and it, it, it was great. But Onata is in every single scene. My relationship is really with her. It's that's the 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 the, the, the emotional journey of or the the arc of my character. And uh, well, I mean, you've seen the film, so you you see the you know her, your energy. Like it's just so intense, and so she's so present and. Everything is 100% true. There are no false notes or anything there. So, of course, socially it was so much fun because you know we became friends. But also, working with someone who's you get so much. It's 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 wonderful. And do you have as as an actor with a very lengthy career now and someone just starting her career? Do you have any advice for her? It's something you'd want her to remember to keep with her throughout her, her time in the industry. That just have fun, enjoy it have as much fun as you can. And if it's not fun anymore, do something else. How about you, Onata? Anything that Alexander should do to make sure he stays a really good actor? He's just naturally that way forever. I agree. <laughs> <laughs>